Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And uh, I have the pleasure to be able to do a walkthrough video on a newest arrival to our dealership, the 378 MBS by Solitude. Um, and the MBS, this is um, an extension of the 378 MB, the S meaning second generation. So Grand Design's done a really nice job uh, updating the floor plan. They made a major, major change to the, uh, the mid lounge uh, of this. So it's got a middle uh, slide out in it, which would give you uh, uh, extra sleeping capacity, kind of like a bunk room, so to speak. But they did do a major overhaul from the 378 MB. Uh, and they eliminated the loft bed, which really didn't give you a lot of space, but we'll talk a little bit more about that when we head inside. But we're gonna jump into it right up front here like we do on all the videos. Again, the Solitude is the flagship brand that Grand Design um, builds. That was the very first brand that they produced when they started their company uh, many years ago. And uh, it continues to be a leader in the marketplace. And, you know, one thing to say on Grand Design folks is, you know, if I think of a few things about them, it's, you know, they're all about foundation. They're all about structure. They're all about, um, you know, customer service is another thing. Um, but what you'll get with Grand Design is just a far superior product, uh, very well engineered, very well thought out and um, they, they build it for the, for the test of time. And so when you're investing in a Grand Design trailer, uh, you know, you're, you're investing in value uh, and you get it throughout so many things on this particular product. So again, right up front, you don't wanna hear me talk, you wanna hear me talk about the, the trailer. And so right up front here, um, fully painted uh, front cap with automotive paint. It's not a gel coat cap, so far less chance of discoloration, uh, fading, all those sorts of things. It's got a really nice high-end look. That front cap is called a structure cap, so it's designed to go on square. You want your, tr your front cap to go on square, very, very important uh, when manufacturing a trailer. But in behind that cap has a full, full steel cage that ties in sidewall to sidewall and then roof to floor, creating a very rigid structure uh, with, with the front end of this trailer, which is really, really nice. And then they pack uh, behind that cap full of insulation. You have your bad insulation, you have your astrofoil insulation, and you've got an R40 uh, on that front cap, which is real nice. And one thing I'm gonna turn on here is they do integrate the, uh, the LED lighting as well. So you get the LED lighting right up on the front cap. Has a really cool look to it, especially in the campground at night, but it also has a docking light here rate it to your, uh, your king pin, which is more ride by the way. And then you also get the uh, underground lighting as well. You can see that light strip there. So really creates a nice ambiance uh, at the campsite at night and uh, have a lot of fun with the trailers. So, but that docking light makes it really nice and easy for, for hooking up at night. Uh, again, new for this year is the more ride king pin, which is really nice. Uh, they used to use the trail air system, a little bit different, uh, but essentially, you know, how it operates is the same and, or the goal of what it's trying to accomplish is the same. Uh, the more ride has a big bush, big bushing here. And what that does is when you accelerate in your truck or you put the brakes on, this basically acts as a bit of a shock absorber to uh, reduce the, the amount of chucking that you can get in noise uh, when you're, when you're backing up and accelerating, made, you know, creating a much smoother ride. So right up front here in your underneath storage on the Solitude, um, I do option in the gen prep on all my Solitudes just so that if somebody you know, wanted to add on the, uh, a generator, you can. It would be a propane generator, 5,500 watt Onan. And that gives, you know, goes right in that box right there. All the cutouts and everything there are there for the, the exhaust pipe and what have you. And all the wiring is ran up inside the, the trailer as well. So they've got the fuel line, they've got the electrical, they've got everything dialed in with the pre-prep. So it's just dropping the generator in and hooking it on and you'll be good to go. Uh, the other thing that they do is um, I option in the, um, what I would call the off-grid uh, solar and inverter kit as well. So with this particular trailer, it has a 300 watt solar panel on the roof and a 2000 watt Magnum pure sine wave inverter. So an inverter basically converts your 12 volt power to 110 power, uh, allowing you to operate your entertainment, uh, it powers every single plug inside the trailer. So if you wanted to hook up a laptop, 
you know, anything that you would need power like what you would need at home, uh, you can plug into one of those receptacles and it'll work. The inverter, you know, unfortunately just would not power the, the, the air conditioner and it would suck your batteries real fast if you tried to, to heat, heat your microwave or use your microwave off your batteries. But they do give you the two vented battery boxes there as well uh, tied in with that. If you didn't get that package, you'd get one vented uh, battery box. So the pump for your hydraulic leveling system is up in there as well. So with this particular coach, you get the Lippert six point hydraulic leveling system, the level up system. Um, and so that's going to allow you to level the coach out really nice and easy. Um, change a tire if you need to that lift that system will lift you put some blocks underneath those feet there if you got to change a tire you can do it as well um, but then you've also got a couple of slides inside the trailer as well actually the three living room slides I believe your uh, your mid lounge and your opposing slides in your living area are hydraulic and then your front front slide here is going to be um, electric so but right up here on your pass-through storage, again, Grand Design is known for their pass-through storage compartments. One of the things that you see with these guys is that it's a seamless flat floor from one side to the other. Okay, so that's, you know, right from here to the other side. This is an eight and a half foot wide trailer, so it's wider than most as well. It's a wide body design, just like a diesel pusher motorhome or a toy hauler like the Momentum. But they do the Lippert Z-rated chassis, so... Uh, to give you that flat floor. So you've got a ton of outside storage, indus industry leading pass through storage with a solitude. But what you get with a solitude is you get a double stacked I beam. So you got a, what your main rail is 12 inches thick and then it's welded and tapped into a, a, a 10 inch I beam as well. So very, very rigid, very, very strong, but that gives you that drop frame portion gives you the ability to be able to have a seamless flat floor. When you look at a lot of RVs, they have it where the, it'll go in about six to eight inches and then up and then over the frame rails and across and down, which gives you less storage. The reflection in the Grand Design lineup does that and they do that for weight saving uh, purposes. But uh, right up underneath the trailer, since we were there already, you've got fully enclosed heated underbelly. Um, you've got in the full solitude, you've got an R45 and that's from the outside enclosure of the Coroplast all the way up through your floor. Uh, which is real nice. So R45, double bat insulation, astrofoil insulation, all your holding tanks have heat blankets thermostatically controlled that are uh, 12 volt, as well as with your furnace, your 35,000 BTU furnace, it will actually force heat off of a dedicated heat duct down into that heat, heat cavity. So, or to, into that holding tank cavity. So, you know, if you've got, um, you know, want to do some cold weather camping or living, or if you're a worker that's using your trailer while you're working away from your family, um, you know, a solitude is set up right also if you see this extruded this piece of this piece of aluminum this is their rail tight design a lot of manufacturers where this screw is right here they will just have a screw with a washer okay and then what happens is you can get gaps where the coroplast meets up with your frame rail so they run their rail tight design around the uh, exterior of the um, where your holding tanks are so it really helps seal in the underbelly to keep that heat inside and and um, you know keep the cold from getting in and that sort of thing so they're doing it right on the solitude from that side of it so um, back up on your pass-through storage compartment here part of the more ride package you do get the power cord reel by more ride as well uh, and then we'll chat about the suspension which is more ride as well with the CRE uh, 3000 system but that power cord it's big and heavy big 30 foot power cord 50 amp service that cord reel you just hook it on there and it'll suck it in for you and it's a good space to uh, to keep it all you know tucked away nice and neat uh, central vac that's the tools for it so it's fully you know got a full central vac in there as well and then you've got your enclosed utility center what's unique about their enclosed utility center folks is you do get the nautilus p1 utility panel which is all color coded very easy to use it allows you to go from dry camping to city water to winterization to power tank fill if you're getting low on your fresh water which i don't know why you would because you've got 93 gallon fresh water capacity with this trailer which is awesome plus a 12 gallon hot water heater so unbelievable fresh water capacity but um, really simple to operate it's got your black tank flush 
city water connection. It's all right there. Water pump. You can turn your water pump on out here. You're not having to go all the way back inside to do that. So really making it nice and convenient for you. Whole house water filtration system. That's going to do about 6,000 gallons of water. You know, depending on where you're pulling your water from, there might be some sediment in it. If you're pulling from a well and that's going to really help filter it out and keep that out from uh, going through your lines and through your system. Um, but again, with Grand Design on the Solitudes folks, you have enclosed up inside the heated area there's a heat duct that blows heat into this uh, into this utility center as well but those uh, low point drains that valve is up inside the heated area a lot of products to save cost what they'll do is they'll have the the red and blue low point drain lines hanging underneath the trailer with just a couple of caps in it which makes it really difficult to use so enclosed gate valves you know black gray gray so you got two gray tanks on this trailer as well folks and it is monstrous you've got a hundred gallons of gray capacity and that's shared between two tanks uh, one for your bathroom one for your kitchen this right here just allows you to run the water line up through this little porthole access and tie it into your system and keep your compartment you know locked and closed real nice and easy so and then they light that compartment as well your pass-through storage here is heated also the other thing to note where is it i can't see it i'll sh show you on the other side um, but there is actually a conduit uh, right in the middle of the compartment that goes all the way up to your roof. It's a, a, an access channel for you to be able to run a satellite. So if you want to add a uh, auto tracking satellite dish, all the wiring would need to come down into the underbelly here or into this compartment area. Um, and they run the conduit for you to be able to do it so much easier. You're not having to fish a line uh, in creative ways to try to get it down, which really drives up your labor cost. They're making it super easy for you. So, all right. Um, hot water heater, 12 gallon hot water heater on the solitude. So recovery rate, I, again, forgive me. I think it's going to be in that 16 to 20 gallons per hour, which is really nice. You know, people can go one in after the other to have a, a the, the hot shower. You're not having to wait for it to heat up again. And then that 35,000 BTU furnace. Um, again, one thing to look for on Grand Design folks, how clean the underbellies of their slides are. They don't use any Darko woven fabric on their slides. If you see that, just be aware that if you're looking at a trailer like that, over time as your slide out moves in and out, that Darko will wear open and it will expose the wood floor on the bottom of your slide out. So Grand Design insulates the bottoms of their slide outs as well on the inside of the trailer, um, which is really nice also. So. Um, talk about you know insulation R values those sorts of things on the solitude like I mentioned you've got an R45 on your floor um, with the solitude you do get a two and a quarter inch sidewall it's one of the thickest walls in the industry which gives you an R11 and then your roof is an R, uh, R40 which is down your roof and down your front cap and so that gives you the the uh, that astrofoil insulation the bat insulation um, really giving you that that fantastic R value. The other thing Grand Design does is they laminate every single sidewall, so vertical wall. So your rear wall is built, for example, it's not a hung wall. One thing to tell the difference between a hung wall and a laminated wall, a laminated wall, when you pound on it, it's really solid, okay? A hung wall, if you were to go and push on it, it would flex, okay? And typically behind that fiberglass panel is a bat insulation. Grand Design, every vertical wall panel in their trailer is fully laminated. It's part of their, you know, why they're able to offer that three-year structural warranty. Um, but block foam insulation, all aluminum tubing, fully bead welded together. Everything's built on jigs in a thermostatically controlled, humidity regulated environment. Uh, they're really going the extra step to ensure that the lamination that they produce on their on their sidewall panels are all you know built accurately and correctly uh, they don't want it to delam on you the other thing that grand design does is they frame out all of their window openings okay so if you're to take this window right out you would see an aluminum tube uh, encompassing that entire opening okay so when that window goes down it bites down really hard and that aluminum frame is welded into the superstructure that's laminated within that sidewall okay the other thing that grand design does that's really important is any aluminum tubing where you have exterior fasteners going into the sidewall like right there okay the aluminum tube that's laminated within that sidewall uh, has a wood dowel stuffed in it 
Very important because steel screws in a hollow aluminum tube with a trailer as it's going down the highway is flexing and stressing and it's going to over time wear that hole a little bit bigger. And that's where you get moisture intrusion. That's where you start to develop squeaks and noises and whatnot inside your trailer as time goes on. With Grand Design, by them stuffing that aluminum tube with that wood dowel greatly reduces the chances of that happening. Okay, so you get a far better seal because they don't use any butyl putty, but because they're building that, that structure in. The other thing, every slide box that Grand Design builds on every single one of their trailers is full walk-on. Okay, on this particular product, the roof, right up here, the roof of your slide-out is laminated, just like the sidewall, aluminum framed with block foam insulation, creating a very, very rigid, squarely built slide box. Very, very important, okay? They're doing it right. Okay, uh, the other thing, ladder at the back, easy access. You can sweep off the tops of your slide outs. Part of the reason why having a, a full walk on slide box is a really nice thing to have. Okay, the other thing at the back of the trailer, you've got a uh, two inch receiver. It's an actual hitch. It's rated for 3,000 pounds if you want to tow something behind, of course, length specific, uh, depending on where you're located, but you do get the flat four wiring here as well. If you wanted to pull a little flat deck um, with a quad on it, or, or even just simply put your bike rack, you know, your bike rack in to haul your bicycles, it's all, all set up for you. And then it's pre-prepped. I'll just zoom in on it. It's pre-prepped for rear vision camera as well. So you can get the camera right from our parts department, clicks in right in that shroud. Uh, the power activator for it is just done with the switch on your dash for your lights to turn on your marker lights and that'll activate that camera. Really, really nice. Good for changing lanes as you're going down the highway, that sort of thing. So coming down the entry side of the trailer here, one thing to note, Grand Design, massive windows, huge, huge windows. And that's a super tall slide box on the inside as well. So you can literally be standing up at your kitchen sink looking directly out your windows. See, with the solitude being that it's a wide body design, um, you know, you, you're picking up a lot of square footage. So with Grand Design, you get, you know, way better storage uh, availability on the inside of the trailer where you don't have to have storage built into the tops of your slide boxes, okay, which allows Grand Design to put in big monster windows but they also put the structure in the sidewall of that slide box to be able to support those big windows as well. So, and that's a flush mount frameless automotive window. I option in the, the dual pane option. So it makes it a lot quieter on the inside of the trailer, less chance of condensation building up, those sorts of things. You don't get a massive R value increase, um, but you do reduce the chances of the frost building up on the inside of your trailer when it's colder out and you've got that propane heat, which has moisture in it, or you're cooking inside your trailer, all those sorts of things, okay? Um, also, they've upgraded the stereo on this to give you the Rockford Fosgate stereo system. So you got the Rockford Fosgate speakers and uh, whatnot. So it, it, it really pounds. Uh, really nice update for this year, folks. Grand design going the extra mile. Um, they've added on a 17 and a half inch tire versus a 16 inch tire. So, and it's a real trailer tire. It's a, a Cooper H rated tire. Um, it's a real trailer tire. So when you back this trailer up, if you see that tire is barely sagging down from the weight of this trailer, okay? And when you go to back this trailer up and jackknife it, those tires are gonna glide over the ground a whole lot easier because they're not treaded up like a, like a, like a regular tire does. Okay, so less chance of, you know, bending your suspension and axle, potentially, you know, you typically more or less see that on, on lighter weight trailers. But again, um, you know, you've got bolts, you've got bushings, you've got so many things going on with your suspension to have a true trailer tire, like what would be on a semi trailer um, is a really nice thing to have. Plus, you know, just, it's just nicer for towing and that sort of thing, but nice big rims, Dexter towing system. So you get the five year warranty on your axles, uh, all North American made. And then you've got the, the more ride CRE 3000 suspension system as well. So it allows that wheel to more free flow in the wheel well, creating for a smoother ride, all of those things. So you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway without removing the tire as well. So if you got a grease gun, um, you know, you can get it done without spending hundreds of dollars to get your wheel bearings repacked. So beautiful trailer. Um, from an outside living perspective, 
uh, the 378 MBS has a ton of awning, which is really nice. So on your outside wall of your slide out there, you've got an 11 foot power awning. And then from your door forward, you've got an 18 foot power awning. Sorry, 20 foot power awning. I had to read my note there. Um, 20 feet on this awning right here. So you got 31 feet of awning on this particular trailer, which is fantastic. The other thing a lot of people are, uh, have mentioned on this model is the awning itself starts further back from the opening of your entrance door. So if you get a driving rain, you get less water landing on your step. That's one of the complaints that we hear from people with awnings that start right at your door and go forward is when it's raining, your steps still get wet. Um, some, you know, it's just a, a product of the floor plan and how they set it up. And that's one of the advantages to this particular layout is that awnings pushed a little further away from your door, you know, which reduces the amount of moisture you'll get. The other thing that's new for this year, folks, is you've got the outdoor kitchen. So really nice fridge, glass front. You can see all your beverages there. It's got a blue light in it, which is real slick. Um, and then you've got the um, Suburban Elite pull-out griddle as well. So I didn't flip the griddle over, but it pulls right out. There's a gas line quick connect uh, underneath there that it'll hook into and allow you to cook your, uh, cook your bacon and eggs in the morning or put a nice steak on there um, while you're enjoying the outside. So uh, nice pass-through storage here again as well. All drop frame like I mentioned. You got the regulator there for your solar panel, the switch for your inverter. Um, it's all, all located here. This also has the tire link system as well. So it's pre-prepped. You can buy the kit from our parts department and that will give you um, the tire pressure monitoring system, which the module would click in that little housing there underneath your battery disconnect switch. And then you'd put the little, little knobs on the end of your uh, uh, valve stems on your tires. So you can monitor and then you can download an app right to your phone to be able to monitor the air pressure in your tires as you're, as you're going along. So beautiful, beautiful trailer, 378 MBS, completely redesigned. Um, and so one of the things that they redesigned and added was the, uh, the full, full outdoor, well not full outdoor kitchen because there's no water there in the form of a sink, but they do give you the, the, the water uh, port here as well. So that's all hooked up there. What's nice about having the water spray port there, folks, is that because this is the, the step above, this step folds up inside the trailer, allows you to clean off your steps before you fold that step up inside. Okay, but again, you get the water right at your outdoor kitchen, so you can hook up a whiz-bang outdoor cook area, which is real nice underneath your great big awning. So... Um, we're going to jump up on the roof. I'm going to key in on a few things and then we'll, uh, we'll jump inside just one moment. All right, we're at the back of the 378 MBS up here up on the roof. And uh, one of the things I'm going to do is just jump down onto the roof of the slide box. Now this is a wide open slide that's not supported by walls or anything on the inside. And I'm walking up and down the roof of this slide. What's really nice about that is depending on where you're camping, um, I always encourage people to climb up on the roof and sweep off the top of your slide outs. And that'll just help prolong the life of your slide seals. You know, you get little branches, pine needles that may have sap on them, leaves that may have sap that are real sticky. And uh, to be able to get up on top of your roof and sweep off the slide is a really nice thing. And it's a bit of a dip there. So to be able to climb down onto it is a good thing. So, and that's the case for all the slides fully walk on. Um, Again, right from the back going forward, Grand Design, one of the things that you'll find is they use this, they're very consistent. It's called their golden thread of consistency. And so they have a belief, a philosophy that, you know, what's the best way to build a roof? Okay, let's put that on all of our trailers. Uh, why wouldn't you? You know, a lot of manufacturers, depending on the line, um, you know, they'll put different types of roofs on trailers, typically to save weight and cost. Uh, but with Grand Design, you'll find that they're all about structure, foundation, and just really building a product that's going to stand the test of time. You know, to give you an example, we're beside an Imagine here in the showroom, and it's got the same roof construction. You know, you've got a 16-inch on center, wood truss, very similar to what you have in your house, just not as steep of a pitch. Uh, you've got a wood decking over top of it. Then you've got bonded to the outside, which is what you're looking at, is the Alpha Superflex TPO roof membrane has the same warranty. They're using the same insulation in the roof. This has an R40 in your roof down your front cap. The Imagine's got an R40 in the roof down the front cap. 
Okay, so you know that golden thread of consistency, higher, um, higher R values. It's got a way better thermal barrier. You're not going to lose as much heat, but also the roof is designed to breathe as well. Grand Design doesn't put a laminated roof on any of their trailers. You know, moisture heat rises right when your when your propane uh, furnace is running. There's moisture in that. When you're cooking inside, where does steam go? It goes up, and you want that moisture to be able to escape. So what Grand Design does is they put an attic vent in all of their trailers right there. They've done that from day one. Attic vent right there allows your roof to breathe, to allow that moisture to escape. Let that imagine right there has the attic vent. Okay, very important. Helps keep the trailer a lot cooler in the summertime. Uh, and with their R values, the thermal barriers with the, with the wood truss, with the wood decking, you know, every trailer that's produced, um, every RV that's produced, has some sort of a, um, a wood outer layer underneath of either a fiberglass or a TPO or what have you. So there's always gonna be wood in your roof, okay, um, underneath. And again, with Grand Design, the way that they design it allows for that, that heat to escape, that, that um, not the heat to escape, the moisture to escape. If it's smoking hot, if you're down south in the southern United States and you get those super hot days, just like an attic in your house, it's all vented. Okay. Max fan there in your kitchen. You got a max fan in your um, middle room there. And then you've got just the basic uh, vent up in your bathroom up front. Okay. Dual ACs. These are both 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioners. Um, very efficient system. It's tied into their racetrack duct work. The air, the air conditioning that's forced through those ducts actually has little baffles in them, so it'll actually force the, the AC out down into the cabin of the, uh, of the trailer as well. So very, very efficient system with the Coleman Mach air conditioner tied in with their racetrack duct work. There's that conduit right there. If you want to tie in a satellite dish, that's the porthole access just to get you uh, down into that, uh, that utility center down below. AR360 WineGuard TV antenna. So that's an omnidirectional television. All, of course, all relative to where you're camping will determine you know, what kind of signal you get. But um, it also has a, a feature. It's pre-prepped for the gateway device. And that gateway device is basically a, a Wi-Fi extender allowing you to suck in the Wi-Fi signal, depending on where, you know, if you're able to tie into a friend's Wi-Fi, uh, a campground's Wi-Fi, what have you, but you can also tie in a SIM card tied into your uh, cell phone plan so you can stream uh, all of your, tel all your favorite shows, your apps, all that sort of stuff on your Roku TVs inside the trailer. Um, and then the other thing I'm noticing or missing right now, and that's the biggest part on this roof is the, um, or one of the biggest parts is your 300 watt solar panel as well. So great big solar panel tied in. It's going to charge those batteries up, uh, keep them topped up. So again, this trailer, if you wanted to add that gen, you can go completely off grid if you'd like. So anyway, I've been up on the roof enough. I'm going to jump down inside. Just one moment. All right, we're just gonna head up inside the new 378 MBS. We're gonna go right to the back and uh, move our way forward. So this has the new um, stone interior fabric color. Uh, in the Solitude lineup, you do get choices. Reflection, Imagine, Transcend, you don't. Um, but in the Solitude, you do. Now, one of the things that they do differently is everything stays the same in terms of decor choices on a Solitude. Uh, and momentum. The only thing that changes is going to be your theater seating right there or and or your um, your sofa, your trifold sofa at the back. Okay, so this is the stone. They have a new color coming out called cotton, uh, which is very much a lighter color similar to your your chairs there. So much brighter. We've got some models coming in with the uh, new cotton fabric and uh, super excited to see that. Uh, but this is the stone. Okay, now this is your typical rear lounge trailer, big window at the back. Um, because this is a wide body trailer at eight and a half feet, the sofa is going to be a little longer than most. The nice thing with Solitude is that they still put in the, the side tables. You've got USB connections right here, 110 plug. You know, really nice. What's nice about this sofa is it's longer like the one you may have at home. So you can actually lay down and, and watch, your, watch your television. 
but this has a totally new redesigned interior. They've gone to a different color wood on the inside. It's got more gray tones to it. So it seems to be that's kind of the way the world is going. Grand Design's known for their cabinetry, folks. They do not hold back in terms of raised paneling. Like they really do a phenomenal job. One of the things that you'll see is the panels that they use on the solitude here to enclose the base of their island. Like this is all solid stained wood, all solid. You'll find with a lot of kitchen islands in the industry, it's just paneling. Uh, like wainscoting or just luon paneling that's very you know you touch it and it's you know just doesn't feel very good this is a solid wood panel going around the whole base of your kitchen island which is really really nice they've got some nice detail on there they've gone to a more modern type interior uh, countertop as well more square hard edges from before but really nice design that they've done on this 378 mbs now, one of the things Grand Design, again, that part of their DNA that they do, they want to give you as many windows on the entry side of your trailer as possible. So like I mentioned outside, as you're standing up, like these windows are huge. I think the top, your slide box height is six foot eight, if, um, if I'm right. And uh, you'll notice just these huge windows allowing you to look outside. You could have a beautiful view of a forest, of a river, a lake, whatever. Um, and you're, you're looking out into your camp space versus your neighbors. Okay, also the thing with the solitude, you get the wood, solid wood inlay, uh, window valances as well. They've done just such a beautiful job with that, the detail in the trailer, super high end. You'll also notice it's a high back chair. It's a very nice chair. You know, they're not running these window valances all the way down. They're stopping them part way. So your chair can tuck up underneath. Right, if you wanna seat four people around your dinette, you can do that in this trailer. You're not running into window balances. With the tabletop extension, you know, you can seat four adults around that table quite comfortably. The other cool thing about their dinette is it's legless, okay? It's actually attached to the wall. So you don't have to worry about a leg in the middle of the, of the, tra of the table mounted to the floor to bang your knees off of allowing you to get in and out of that table so much nicer. And it's supported. Those screws that mount that table bracket to the wall, all mounted in steel. That's part of it. You've got those aluminum tubes stuffed with wood dowels. Everywhere you've got that screw going into the wall where a wood dowel or a, an aluminum tube with a wood dowel can't be, they laminate a sheet of steel for those steel screws to go into. So super, super strong, okay? Absolutely beautiful setup with this trailer. I love the, the redesign, you know, just the look. Very contemporary, but classic at the same time. So they've also done a, a, a change as well in the solitude. They've gone to a different style sink. Again, Grand Design always getting feedback from customers. You know, they had a more of a rounded sink before. Now they're going to more of a rectangular sink. But again, they gave you, they, they worked in a barrier between the two sides. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds, one being you can hide your dishes. You can hide a big pot, you know, a big pan in here after doing breakfast, put your sink covers back on, do your dishes later. It's going to be able to hold it. But for people that just want to do a little bit of washing to clean up some silverware, maybe one plate or whatever, you're not having to fill up a whole single basin sink um, and, you know, going through more water. So they've actually, you know, being quite smart with the design of the, of the sink. So that's all new for this year. You know, really nice upgraded pull-down faucet they had before, but it's got a really nice residential look to it, which is cool. I'll just slide these guys uh, back in, these uh, sink covers. Okay. Um, as I spin around here, um, I option in, or sorry, standard on this is the 18 cubic foot Norcold gas electric refrigerator. Uh, which is good, uh, you know, totally off grid if you want to go. It's not the residential fridge. A lot of people are still liking the gas electric fridge. So we're pretty much stocking all of our solitudes still with that. We can get a residential fridge if you want to have that. Um, but also new is the full residential inspired insignia propane uh, oven and range. Like, look at this thing. It's huge. Very, very similar to what you may have in your house, just a little bit smaller 
but I mean, you could cook a, a full turkey in there if you wanted to. So, and it's a four burner range. Absolutely beautiful. They've done a fantastic job. And again, nice big microwave. You do get the pantry. Now with the solitude, it's all lit. There's a light in there, all adjustable shelves. And then you've got the really nice, well finished off drawers here as well. So done a really nice job. Um, one of the things that's new for the 2021 redesign folks is the drawer construction. This drawer construction, that's a solid piece of plywood. Um, a lot of trailers in the industry, manufacturers are known for just putting a little thin Luon panel in the base of the drawer. I'll challenge you when you're out shopping, looking at other products, uh, open up that drawer and push down on the middle of the drawer right here. There is no deflection in this. When you're dealing with a Luon panel, like most products do, you'll literally feel that the base of that drawer flex beneath you. And depending on what you put in there, you know, we've had customers break the bottoms of those drawers just simply by placing items inside or dropping something inside that drawer. So they're really stepping it up. Again, uh, the television in here, folks, you, uh, fireplace up. So with this particular model, because of the design, they don't go to the wide angle fireplace, which gives you the 10,000 BTUs like you would see in, a, in, a, in the wide angle fireplace or in a momentum or what have you. Um, this is the 5,000 BTU heater. So with the 35,000 BTU furnace, 5,000 BTU heater, you get 40,000 BTUs of heating capability with this trailer. Of course, for that fireplace to work, you do need to be plugged into shore power, a generator or what have you, but it's really quiet heat. You know, if you just want to warm up the area, um, you know, watching a movie, you don't have to turn your furnace on, uh, which can be a little bit noisier. Grand Design does do a good job where they place their furnace, folks. Um, and underneath in the, what I would call the nerve center, very, very quiet actually when you do turn your furnace on in this particular product. Uh, which is nice and then your television right here folks is on a televator so that tv this panel folds back tv lifts up and then you can stow it out of the way but it's nice because they give you that window so there's your rockford fosgate stereo televator switch to uh, lift your television all of that so we'll just shoot around like look at the design on the the light above your island there beautiful I'm just thrilled with the with the new redesign of the uh, the solitude here, folks. In your theater seating, all heat and massage. It's electric, open and close. So then you get the hutch with all the storage. You know, you do your Keurig coffee maker there. Look at all the storage you get. It's fantastic. So um, right here behind this door is your. Uh, convenience center so you've got the pre-wire switch for your generator if you want to add a gen in uh, your tank monitors does a lot of light switches you do your light your awning um, all your slide switches are behind here light switches everything all conveniently located um, and then in your middle lounge so the redesign this they used to have where the roof would be you know not much higher uh, than my hand here which is right up here. And that would be the base of where your loft bed is. You used to be able to have a, there was a loft bed up top. Um, the loft bed, lots of feedback, real tight, like really only good for small children. Um, and so what they, you know, getting feedback from their customers, what they opted to do was um, eliminate the loft, take the roof line right up. So you get AC down in here now, uh, you get the, the max fan, uh, rain sensor, as well you get a little more headroom but you can see they added they raised the roof of the slide out in here um, and added a, a bunk bed above so you got a trifold sofa here which makes into a bed and then you've got a drop down bed here uh, for a bunk so you know three children three kids very comfortably you do get the pocket door and then you get a ton of storage as well more storage than before in fact because there's no loft bed they tied in storage all the way across the top here which you can access from either side. You can mount a television to the wall here, so it's a nice quiet room for, you know, if you have guests and somebody just wants to come in here and watch a TV program or a movie, you know, close the door nice and quiet, you can do it. And it's a guest room in a pinch, which is awesome. 
So, and there's, you know, no carpet in this trailer other than in your front closet. One thing I forgot to touch on was they did add the, um, the, the vinyl floor to the base of the slide as well. So there's literally no carpet in your living area anymore on the base of the slides. So spot to tie your shoes in, central vac port as well. Uh, one thing to show is it does come with the um, one control system. So you can download an app right to your, right to your phone um, and it will connect to your uh, one control here. You can operate your HVAC, your leveling system, your slide outs, uh, your lighting. It's all set up there, which is really, really nice. What I like about the app on the phone is that if you're, let's say you're parking in a heavily wooded area and there's a tree, you're kind of wondering, ah, oh, is my slide out going to hit that tree? You can open up your slide out standing outside your trailer using your phone paired to your trailer. So you can watch if you're by yourself, you're not relying on somebody to holler at you to, um, to tell you if you're going to hit, hit a tree or what have you. So real slick system. And again, tons of storage. This is right on the back side of your cupboard. Your, so there's a wardrobe closet for jackets right at your front door. Tons of storage right here. Easy access. Like awesome storage. Show you this as well. All lit in there as well. Goes all the way down. You know, European hidden hinges, barn style sliding door there. So they've done a great job. Big, big window in the hallway. No pleated shades. It's all the blackout shades as well, which is nice. Those pleated shades still let lots of light in. And you get your big vanity. Huge vanity. Look at that. Two big, big shelves. Three, three shelves. Tons of room. Very modern design, the classic as well. I just, it's a, it's a beautiful combo. Encore shower. It's got the nice, that's a one piece fiberglass residential tub surround. Um, and then you've got the four, four sprayers. So you got the big sprayer up top, two side jets, and then you get the hand wand on that side as well. Beautiful shower. And that shower folks, um, is lower than your main floor here. So if you're quite tall with that skylight, you'll be able to fit. So lots of storage here beside your shower for your towels and what have you. Coat hooks or, you know, bathrobe, towel hooks, what have you. Real nice look. No heat ducts on the floor, folks. So if that toilet was to ever backflow on you, um, with Grand Design, they're really not putting heat ducts on the floors, which is really good. So you get a one-piece floor, very, very strong. They're not cutting a groove down the middle of your floor for a heat duct, for things to go down, dirt, debris, that sort of thing. But in your bathroom, if that toilet was to ever leak or backflow on you, heaven forbid, it's not going to go down a, a, a heat duct. So I'll let you do the imagining on that. And again, uh, right into your bedroom here. Beautiful. Nice door. This one has the king size bed. True to form for Grand Design. They do the triple windows. They've been doing that since day one on the Solitude. Just really creating a beautiful look. Because this is a wide body fifth wheel, folks, six inches wider, five to six inches wider than most, um, you get a really nice bedroom and very um, well set up underneath bed storage. But with that extra wide body, you do get a deeper slide out. So you get a lot more floor space in the master bedroom in a solitude, but I'll just lift up this bed here and show you. Um, they've been doing their underbed storages from day one this way, very creative. You get dual um, laundry hampers on either side here. Spot little jewelry tray to be able to put watches and jewelry and that sort of thing that's nicely finished off. And then extra storage underneath, but just look how they finish everything off. Double gas strut. The plywood that they use underneath their bed is a finisher's grade plywood. It's not just a cheap rough cut. You know, plywood comes in so many different forms. This is the type of plywood that a cabinet maker may use to build furniture, right? Very, very nice product. You know, a sheet of plywood like that's not cheap, right? I encourage you to go up to the hardware store to see what it costs. Grand Design's not cheap and out. And then you get the big closet with the mirror up front. Ooh, I forgot to do this for you pull out seat here as well so you got a spot that pulls out there's storage underneath of it 
and then uh, you know you can t put you know use it as a laundry hamper place to sit down to put your socks on that sort of thing um, and again your closet all the shelves right there absolutely beautiful doing a great job and then if you wanted to do a combo washer dryer it would go down below that shelf there or a stackable would take up that whole closet so all the plumbing's there the wiring everything and then you've got your uh, chest of drawers there as well and the flip up tabletop more jewelry storage so television you do get the ac up here that ac is tied into your uh, racetrack duct work what's cool about that is let's say you get your trailer to optimal temperature but you want to watch a movie and not have that air conditioner buzzing above you um, you can turn this ac on and it's going to provide the cooling cooling for the entire trailer which is nice vice versa what have you but with the coleman mock air conditioner paired with their racetrack duct work folks it is the quietest and most efficient ac system on the market today through their testing it's absolutely fantastic uh, Grand Design was offered up the Whisper Quiet system. They turned it down because it was more of a power draw on the trailer overall. And with the electronics and trailers nowadays, folks, there's a big draw, okay? You need efficiency in those systems. All LED lighting throughout. I know I'm running out of steam here, um, but again, this is the 378 MBS. I've talked enough. This is a ton of detail for you. Um, we'd love to invite you down to our dealership here in Leduc, Alberta. We're 15 minutes south of Edmonton, and we're the number one grand design dealer in Alberta two years in a row. Little dealership doing great things with great product and great people. And uh, we're just so happy to come alongside our customers, teach you about the RVs, and uh, hopefully we have something that fits for you. So thank you for your time. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm the sales manager here. And... Uh, Thanks for hanging in there with me. Thank you to all our faithful YouTube watchers who uh, watch these videos faithfully. We appreciate the likes and the comments and all of those things. So thank you for your time. Take care. Happy camping and be safe.